Once again on the regional map as far as medical milestones are concerned. The Medihill Hospital has successfully performed a rare heart surgery known as a transcatheter uh, atonic valve impl impl implantation or a TAVI on an 83-year-old patient. According to the facility's experts, a TAVI is a, is a rare surgery and the first of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa. This makes Kenya a top regional destination for medical tourism. Our health and science reporter Chebet Birir has more on this. A few days ago, 83-year-old Brambila Luigi was a worried man. He had been experiencing shortness of breath, but now he can sigh in relief as he hopes to live longer. This follows a successful valve replacement in his heart. Brambilla, who is a Catholic priest at the Consolata Shrine, was diagnosed with aortic stenosis. This may cause the aortic valve to degenerate and struggle to open well. As a result, the heart struggles to pump blood through the narrowed valve. This leads to symptoms including breathlessness and chest pain. Some people may experience dizzy spells when exercising, which may lead to fainting. For this patient, we did the 2D echocardiography, which showed one of the heart wall, it's called aortic wall, which was blocked significantly. And the gradient was more than 100, that is 110 by 54. So the gradient, whenever is high, anything more than 40 mm of Hg gradient across any valve, means that valve is stenosed or blocked and it is blocked significantly and such patient will develop this shortness of breath uh, they develop the dizziness, giddiness, syncope and they will develop the chest pain. The procedure cost about 7 million Kenyan shillings locally. It was handled by more than 10 specialists and took about two hours. This is a, a placed valve there which is uh, having some diamond shaped rims Okay, and over this wire we have implanted and this is one area from where the blood will come from the heart to this main tube and there we have placed this valve and you can see the calcium previous stenosed valve which is now opening well and there is no gradient across this valve after implantation. Brambilla is now recovering as doctors observe him. After six hours, patient can walk. Uh, ideally, in now uh, in some countries, even uh, for one day we are keeping, and next day even discharging. But for this patient, we are keeping two days, maybe maximum two days. Hospital stay will be there for patient. Many patients and their families in Kenya seek services abroad to treat or manage heart problems. According to Dr. Patil, this rare surgery is proof that Kenyan doctors have what it takes to treat and handle such delicate diseases. Chebet Birir, KTN News. Indeed, that's great news for the country. Now, UDA Party